Hello, this is Scott Carpenter, and uh, welcome to another installment of the Sasquatch Awareness Project. And we're going to continue on our theme of signs of their presence. And so uh, today I want to talk about uh, uh, hair, feces, and orbs. <laughs> kind of an odd mixture. But uh, if you, uh, this is especially relevant for those, you know, who, you know, who have think they have them on the property uh, and it could be anywhere you know in the camping or hunting area but uh, uh, these things especially the hair seems to be more prevalent around uh, uh, a home or something like that and uh, here on the screen I had I was having home visitations and uh, and example one evening I was asleep in the downstairs bedroom uh, and I heard banging or knocking on the window and uh, it woke me up, went outside and didn't see anything. It was dark, of course. I could smell something strange, but uh, the next day, go out and there's this big, this huge tuft of hair. Now, Sasquatch hair is, is unique. Uh, most of the time, the hair that I've found is uh, is is thin and wispy. It's almost uh, pubic hair in its in its texture and what it looks like. And uh, and it it can come like uh, you know that they have they have different length hair, just like you know the hair on the head. And they have some of them have a cape on the shoulders, and then they have you know, but it's just you know it's hair. It's not fur. But it, it links from anywhere from, you know, just like my, I've got hair on my arm, so, you know, three or four inches on the hands and on the back of the arm to, you know, 12 inches or longer, eight inches. It just depends on what part of the body the hair comes from. But if you find hair and uh, similar to, uh, uh, similar to down on your property, I mean, it usually be caught on things like the hair that I found was uh, I have uh, holly bushes, and you know, of course, they're full of briar stickers. And so, when he reached in to knock on the uh, window, it's a big bunch of hair. I don't that almost looked like hair from his head, to be honest with you, or its head. But however, it got caught, pulled out, and it was laying caught in the bush, inside the bush. And then, uh, uh, hair you're seeing here, this is different hair. From Collected from tape and stuff, but you can see the what it looks like and the texture. And uh, uh, but if you find like uh, this odd hair, like going over a fence, like they've stepped over a fence in in shrubbery or bushes like that, uh, you know, uh, around wildlife. I know there's like horse hair and, and those other things, but uh, uh, you know. Lots of times where this hair gets caught or you notice it is, you know, around where they've been stealing, like if you've got a farm and they're stealing chickens or they're stealing horse feed and you notice that there's a tuft of hair caught, you know, uh, on the feed bin and, you know, it, it's not coarse like horse hair. Uh, you know, if they're stealing dog food, if they're, like I said, if they're getting chickens and you on the, uh, on the cage or on the wire of the, uh, um, Chicken coop, you know, you see this, you see this wispy hair, 
or you know long ha uh, low hanging limbs and trees and things around around your property. Sometimes will will hair definitely will get caught on that or barks of trees. And uh, of course, if they if they do make a, a shelter or a place where they lay down, sometimes they'll uh, there'll be hair found there. But while hair is not you know 100%, it again it's one of those things that it's uh, it accompanies other things that build uh, the build the preponderance of evidence that you probably got some activity. Uh, feces and uh, uh, feces and urination. I'm going to add urination because I have, they ur literally they urinated right beside my deck, and uh, and usually you know you'll find Sasquatch feces is rare. Uh, there have been a few instances where people have found abnormally large human looking feces. I mean that's the only way to put it. Uh, it's not like bear poop. It's it, it literally looks like a person's fe uh, you know bowel movement except it's just abnormally large. And I know that Dave Pilates found a, a place uh, out in, uh, I think on the Hooper Reservation where the Sasquatch had, you know, had made up like a toilet, and in an area, and they were multiple ones were, you know, going in this one area, and it was the feces was large. Uh, uh, the expedition Bigfoot has a has a sample of what a, a, you know feces looks like, but uh, most of the time, you know, they they do it either in water or where it's. Uh, you know, they kind of hide it because they know it's an obvious sign of their presence. But like, I, I know for uh, you know for sure in barns, uh, you know, if they're staying in outbuildings, that they'll you know instead of venturing out to go to the bathroom, they'll do it you know in a corner or uh, they'll you know they'll pick a stall. So if you you know if you've got a you know, farm, a ranch, and you suspect you're having other things going on. And uh, and you uh, in your your barn you begin to find the you know this abnormally large feces that doesn't belong to your animals. Uh, you know that's uh, you know another check mark on something's going on here. And uh, uh, you know I wish I had a faster you know rule about it, but you know like I said it's rarely found. But like I said it's just what you're looking for or, or going to find is abnormally large human looking feces that obviously couldn't come from a human being and when I mean abnormally large I mean as big around as my arm and and, and large volume for an adult because you, you've got a 1200 pound male you can imagine the amount of food he's going to intake and, and, and then the output. Uh, the other thing is uh, the urination and the piecemeal uh, some of them, unfortunately, do urinate. Uh, you know, when they urinate, they don't clean themselves very well, so they will smell along with the, you know, wet dog, skunky smell. You get that urine, that, uh, you know, rotty urine smell. Uh, this was beside my deck, this picture here, and this is a classic if you're a man and you've ever peed out in the woods or peed on the ground, this, you know, you know, you get the, uh, you know, you get the uh, circle in the center, and, or the, the the depression in the center, or the streams hitting, and then you know, the circle worked its way out, of moisture, and this is classic, and it was urine, and it smelled horrid. <laughs> I, I actually got a sample still in the freezer of the dirt. I don't know why, but hopefully, you know, I was hoping at one time to get it tested, but. We've got plenty of DNA samples, but uh, this and and the hole was as big as my thumb, so pretty good size uh, guy uh, making the stream there. I know it's a sensitive subject, but it needs to be broached because it, you know, these are things that will happen. And this is on my property, on you know, right on right here, you know, right blatantly, you know, right there beside my deck. And uh, this was still fresh. Or this was found in the next morning. It was still damp, uh, so obviously it had not been made the night before. So uh, 
uh, that's kind of this is a good picture this is kind of what it looks like when they do it and so uh, you can see here where the stream made the hole and then the off color where the, uh, the dirt was damp and the urine uh, flowed outward and uh, so those kind of things to look for you know around outbuildings around the barns around the chicken coops if they're visiting your home you know around the corners of your home and like i said if you've got one that's staying in an outbuilding or a barn and you know it's it's not uncommon for them to hide there all day and relieve themselves in that building or in that in the barn or you know wherever or in the shed and so and you may find the remains and so that's something to be on the lookout for and then of course the orbs uh, if uh, you know usually orbs accompany Sasquatch uh, like for most people it's the orbs aren't seen unless they've got a uh, the, the Sasquatch are on their property and come into their home or you know it's a it's a habitation type deal where they live on your property and they definitely can be accompanied by orbs now a good friend of mine in California had a event happen where he uh, was in a campground and had a Sasquatch situation where the Sasquatch were walking through the woods and they had orbs like orbiting around them as they walked and so I and then I've had other people you know see the orbs in the woods so like in the areas where they have Sasquatch activity or or, or pre you know prior to a sighting or just after a sighting they will see uh, orbs uh, intelligently going through the woods uh, and uh, I know that when I, I, a couple years ago I did a talk for a, a, a Sasquatch group down in uh, down towards Chattanooga and they were in a and a big South Fork not big South Fork uh, Cherokee National Forest excuse me and uh, and they they were going out at night with their thermals and in group different groups and they they weren't getting they did find some Sasquatch footprints but the what they the day I was there the couple nights I was there the, I went and spoke and then spent the night left the next day and camped out with them and had a good time but uh, uh, they were both groups got video and saw orbs uh traversing the woods in other words they were going up old road beds they were in a mountainous area and they would see you know if they were on one hillside on the other hillside uh they'd capture an orb and uh sorry about the shifting back and forth i got a new 4k video camera and i'm trying to get used to it because it's it's showing instead of showing me exactly what i'm supposed to be seeing when i flip it it's showing me a mirror so I move right and my head's going left. I move left, my head's going right. So I'm trying to keep myself centered. Uh, but they, uh, they had, uh, you know, people were seeing these basketball sized, intelligently moving. In other words, it was not just like a balloon blowing in the wind. It was moving uh, against the wind in a direction, uh, 10, 12 feet off the ground, going in and around trees, up, down, and uh, you know, like it was maneuvering through the woods, and I believe they're the ones they saw were green. And I've had I had an instance, and not all orbs are visible to the uh, naked eye, which was my case. I, have, I was sitting on the back porch; it was almost dusk. And these are what the pictures are showing here. It was it was almost dark, and the motion sensor light went off on the corner of the house, and I felt I felt a presence. I felt like something. I got that feeling like when someone is standing like behind you. Now someone like walks up to you and you don't look around but you can feel them behind you. And this is what I was feeling and you know I had my iPhone and I literally just got my iPhone out, you know, because I I'd been doing the research for a little bit now, so I, I knew something was up. But you know, so I went ahead and just took the iPhone and I took pictures all the way around me, just click, 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 did a three hundred sixty just you know, just spun around in my chair. And then when and then I just did it. I didn't even look at you know just 
kept going. And then once I was done, I went back and started looking, and I had these pictures here. And this first picture, I mean, and, and other, other people, this is an example of one type. I mean, there are free-floating orbs that, you know, are, appear to be intelligently, intelligently guided or moving on their own. And then these orbs here seem to be in some sort of conduit, energy conduit. I don't know, but, and they were, you know, obviously they were around me. This one was going from my right to my left around me. And actually you can see there's another one going out and down my right hair. You just barely see it. But it was moving, it was going the opposite direction and going downward. But you can see here, this, you know, right there's the orb, but it's like it's a conduit. And, uh, and I've had a couple other people say, you know, they have gotten pictures like this uh, during the day and at night. And so, and of course, a lot of people say, well, that's lens flare or whatever, and you're moving the camera. Well, the problem with that is there's this one, and then there's a second one. And then here you have three moving three different directions independently of each other. So you've got this one coming down and going to my left, this one coming and going from my left going downward, and this one going straight across the screen, caught and captured right there. So the conduits aren't, whatever these streaks are, aren't complete yet. And so, but that's an example of, you know, the orbs. Um, and the orbs, as far as sizes, can be anywhere from golf ball all the way up to basketball or bigger. And like I said, they usually, most of the time it seems like they're, they're, they'll be seen in the areas in the, in the woods where the Sasquatch also frequent. And they'll be before or after or like, let's say you've re you're suspicious, you've heard some wood knocks and vocalizations, and you're kind of, you, you know, you're getting, you're getting a handle on, you, you've got some Sasquatch in the area or on your property. And then at night, you know, you look out the back window and you see these orbs, you know, you see a white orb or blue, there's all kinds of colors, white, blue, green, red. And you see the orb, this orb, you know, maneuvering around in the woods. Or, or lots of people say, well, it looked like at first I thought I saw, you know, somebody with a headlamp or a flashlight at first. And then, you know, as they kept watching, it was obvious, you know, that it wasn't someone with a flashlight because it would go, you know, 30 feet, 40 feet in the air and come back down and maneuver in and around trees and, you know, like, you know, like not, you know, a person couldn't do. And so that would be, you know, an example of, you know, when you're putting your puzzle together, what's going on on my property, and how is your Sasquatch around? That would be it. And the same thing with a camping or a hiking area. If you if you witness these things, that that then it's a pretty good bet that there's some Sasquatch around as well, or it'll precede. You know, and be more of a comfort confirmation. And uh, here was a, a little bit later time, about a year later, I believe. This is under the deck. This is back when you know didn't have a. Uh, skirt on the deck and the dog, uh, an old dog bowl and all kinds of garbage in there. You know, I was in the full redneck mode there. Apologies, but uh, I think I'd gone out to feed the dogs and yeah, I had and this is on the steps going down and I felt, I felt a presence and I got my phone out. I, I felt like there was something under the deck and I really didn't want to look under there and have two something staring back at me. Uh, I just didn't want to see that, and so I reached. I did, you know, I reached my hand. See, I'm this is my right arm. It looks like my left. Drives me crazy. So I reached my hand out under the deck and took this picture, and you can see this orb here moving, you know, from right to left. And the camera was moving. I was completely still, as you can see. Everything is in focus. And then there's some close-ups of the orb. That's yeah, it was, there you go, August to November. So you can kind of see, you know, the, these orbs here. Uh, the November orb compared to the ones in August. And, you know, you can see through them and they've got stuff in them. But what's in them, I don't know. Some sort of energy. There's all kinds of theories, you know, that they're inner. Some people think they're actual beings, angelic angels or spirit beings. Some people say that the Sasquatch, you know, uh, travel. They they um, transform into this uh, this orb or sphere to 
to travel and then and then you know turn back into a Sasquatch uh, you know when they arrive at their location uh, some people think there's some sort of probe some sort of energy probe uh, there's also a theory that the you know especially like where the Sasquatch were walking and had these orbs you know orbiting them and going around and the Sasquatch was manipulating energy and causing them to happen so you know, I'm no expert definitely in, in, in on the orbs, you know, the jury's still out. But those are some of the uh, some of the things people put forward that, you know, they could be or or are. And uh, just more study and more evidence needs to come to light. But there's no doubt that they're out there and people see them and they're definitely a, a sign that you've got Sasquatch in your area. These are just uh, reverse uh, done, you know, did the uh, invert image just so you can see them, see the orbs there, start doing their thing. And uh, well, that's about it for orbs, feces, urine, and hair. Uh, but like I said, again, this is all, like I said, you, you, you put all these things together to make the full picture. And this is just part of. I'm doing this series, this chapter, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm giving you just all the different things that you put together. If you have, you know, if you have the sighting, obviously, you have Sasquatch on the area, that's pretty sign of their presence, but, you know, lots of times you don't get the sighting. Lots of times you get these, these things here, and, uh, you know, the hair and the footprints and the stick structures, and you put it all together to to have a pretty solid picture of what's going on and, and that they're around and need to be aware and need to take care and and, and to take the proper precautions. So uh, that's it for uh, this installment. Uh, hope everybody has a good week. You know, we're getting ready to head into the weekend here. It's Thursday night. And it's January and it's cold. <laughs> everybody stay warm and uh, be careful out there. And God bless and I'll talk to you soon. Thank you.